Hi everybody, I'm Billy Morgan. Welcome inside our Harding Sports Network studios. And you'll recognize this guy sitting next to me, Jacob Gibson. He played 104 games in a Bison basketball uniform. He was the 2016 GAC Player of the Year. And he won two regular season uh, titles in the GAC as a player and also won Great American Conference Tournament Championship. And is a 2016 graduate of Harding University. Jacob, great to see you. We appreciate your time. Good to see you. Appreciate you having me on. And, you know, I want to talk about those accomplishments that I just mentioned. But first, I want to see how you got here to mm -hmm. Harding. And uh, Jonesboro, you were a Jonesboro Hurricane, mm -hmm. played for West Swift. And uh, just talk about those days in high school and, and what brought you to Harding University. Yeah, Coach Swift, he is a um, high school coach, one of the best in Arkansas. He's well known. Um, he really encouraged me about my 10th grade year, and that's really when I fell in love with the game. At first, I didn't think I was big enough or good enough to play college ball, and he really got on my head about working and getting in the gym all the time, and I just fell in love with it, and so that pushed me to get here. And it wasn't just basketball mm -hmm. at Jonesboro. You, you were a very good uh, baseball player at Jonesboro. And then take me back even farther than that because there's a story that I, I know you were teammates at one time. Mm -hmm. You had no idea that you'd both wind up at yeah. Harding. But Park Parrish, Bison quarterback, and you actually were baseball teammates many years ago. Yeah, yeah. We played three summers of baseball together. I think we were around age 10 to 12, something like that. And it was a blast. Our families really enjoyed getting to know each other, and we've carried that relationship on today. And so that was really cool that we ended up both being here and being able to play different sports, even different than baseball, which is kind of odd, but it's a cool story. And you were a very successful baseball player uh, in your younger days. When did you get to the point where you said, okay, basketball, this is the road I'm going to take? When I was a kid, you know, whatever sport it, or whatever season it was, that's what sport you mm -hmm. played. And so eventually I got to high school and the competition stiffened in baseball. And I really fell in love with basketball, like I said, with Coach Swift. And I took a year off my junior year to play AAU basketball as opposed to high school baseball. And so that's kind of when I knew what direction I wanted to go to in college. And when you came to Harding, you were on a very good uh, team that year mm -hmm. that, that won a regular season championship and uh, went to the NCAA tournament when you were a freshman mm -hmm. and won a game in the NCAA tournament, the first win for a Bison basketball team in the NCAA tournament against Central Missouri. What, what did you take away from, from that experience, that season, being around uh, those older guys th that you took forward? Yeah, that was an amazing year. Um... We had great senior leadership that year. Bradley Spencer, Matt Walters come to mind, Zach Roddenberry as well. But those guys really just showed us the ropes. Those young guys, mm -hmm. me, John Hudson, Blake, kind of led us to become leaders today or this past season mm -hmm. and showed the younger guys like Will and Reggie who are getting ready to do the same thing. And so that's just kind of the tradition of Bison basketball. That's just how we are. You know, we're family. Mm -hmm. We try to teach each other what, what, you know, what's going to help us be successful. Mm -hmm. And going to Minnesota, that was quite an experience. I remember on oh, that yeah. trip because uh, we almost stayed in, in Minnesota a little longer than, than uh, we were yeah. supposed to. A blizzard warning hit, and um, we were able to get out of town. But uh, yeah. to go up there and win a game in, in that environment at Minnesota State, mm -hmm. uh, at Mankato, I thought uh, was, was uh, that's a heck of a trip. That's one that, that I'll never forget. Yeah, something I'll remember forever. That's one of my greatest basketball memories right there. And 104 games as a Bison. I mentioned that uh, when we first came on. And uh, during that time, three NCAA tournaments. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's that's something that uh, you'll never forget, and that's that's quite an accomplishment. Absolutely. That's why we play. You know, we want to we play to win and play to honor God. But playing playing the NCAA tournament, that's the that's the pinnacle of what we're going for. We would like to go on a little deeper a year or two, for sure. But you know, getting there is is quite an accomplishment. We're proud of that. I can't name every list that you're on because you're on a, a lot of career lists at Harding, but the one that really sticks out is the career leader at Harding with 231 three-point field goals made. Mm -hmm. Great teammates. Playing with Weston Jameson my first two years, I mean, playing with a point guard like that, getting you open shots, and really it's all the players. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have to worry about Zach Roddenberry when I'm a freshman. They don't know who I am, so I'm shooting open shots, or Hayden Johnson one year. So it's a team game, but that's kind of the way the style of basketball is going today. You see more outside shooting, mm -hmm. thanks to the Warriors, I guess. But <laughs> Yeah, and so Coach let us play free, and 
I took the shots from there there and was fortunate enough to see some go in. I want to mention a few games to see if you remember mm -hmm. them, but do you remember a game down in Monticello? Absolutely. Your sophomore year, and uh, you you hit a big shot mm -hmm. in double overtime uh, to win a game at UAM. you remember that? Day? I remember that. I also remember Will Francis had, as a freshman, had about 10 straight points in overtime, in mm -hmm. double overtime, mm -hmm. to help us skip that win. And the locker room after that was <laughs> ecstatic. I think that's where you coined the phrase, Gibby got it. <laughs> and so I still hear that today some. Yeah, you guys gave me a hard time about that <laughs> when you were getting back on the bus, I think, uh, yeah. after the game was over. And Gibby. How long have you been called Gibby? I know that didn't come here, I'm sure. No. This probably goes way back. No, it, it did come here. Really, it, oh, took okay. off, it took off like my sophomore year. I was Jacob. And then I think going into my junior year, we added Jacob Roark. And so it was kind of Jacob, Jacob. And we had Jake Miller. So we had a lot of Jacobs. So I just took Gibby and went with it. So. And I want to talk about the 40 points in the semifinals mm -hmm. just a year ago over in the, uh, the GAC tournament against Southern Arkansas. What a game. Uh, yeah. When you get in that kind of zone, you know, you don't, you can't think about it too much. It's just playing basketball. I took the shots that mm -hmm. I know I can make and was fortunate enough to see a lot of them go in that day. Some days less go in, some days they all go in. So that was just one of those days. But man, what a fun game. I'll never forget that one either. That's just a few I remember. There's one more that I really remember, but I'm going to see if you bring it up. Tell me your memories, the games that really stick out at you uh, that, that will last a lifetime. Um, Team-wise, I'd have to say the Tech games were just unbelievable. And the last game of the year on CBS, my freshman year, mm -hmm. was an unbelievable atmosphere in Rhodes. Probably maybe the best I ever got to play in. Uh, individually, I think Henderson State, the first game we ended up with eight players, and actually Antoine was hurt, seven players my sophomore year. And we're kind of looking at each other, you know, what's the plan? How are we going to go about this season? How are we going to do this? And so I just came out full confidence and started letting them fly. And started seeing some go in and that kind of set the tone for the rest of the year, but I really remember that game. Touch on that tournament in, in 2014, mm -hmm. the GAC tournament, uh, that you would eventually beat Henderson State in double overtime to mm -hmm. win the championship to go uh, back to Minnesota State and play in Mankota yeah. for the second year in a we row. We had lost, I think, three real close games mm -hmm. going into the tournament and some, for some reason the confidence was just uber high. Weston, great coach, great, great player, and he had us all in the right frame of mind going into it. He just kept telling us we're going to win it, you know. He actually predicted the whole tournament right, which mm -hmm. was funny in the first day. But, yeah, we just got out there and laid it all out and came back with it. That was such an incredible run. The support was amazing, too. So that was so much fun. And Coach Morgan and mm -hmm. Coach Woods. Talk about them. Great coaches. Great, great men. Um, super thankful that Coach Morgan sought me out in high school and thought I was good enough to – get an opportunity to play here and they stuck with me through highs and lows and whatever happened they were always there for me coach woods same way high energy guy great guy so funny and he helped me a lot with my game too he always always in practice he said give me every time you shoot i think it's going in so he always gave me that confidence to play free and play like myself and you can't talk about bison basketball without talking about playing at the Rhodes reeves field oh house. definitely not that's so many great memories man that that sends a shiver down my spine right there, but yeah, I'll remember it forever. And your final game in the NCAA tournament up at Sioux Falls against Augustana, mm -hmm. a team that went on to win the national championship. The Bisons played outstanding that yeah. day. You had 21 points, and uh, what, what were the feelings that day? Uh, no, knowing that it was your final game, but uh, you, you went play out with well a great game. and you still lose, you can't be too happy about it, but as, as a closing chapter, you know. I smiled looking back on my career and the four years and all the relationships I'd made. The game itself was a great game. We really played played well. We made shots, but that team was – they were very talented. And they went on to win the national championship, like you said. And we just wanted to go up there and give it our best run. I think that's what we did. So we can look back and hang our hat on that. Now you earned your degree mm -hmm. uh, back in the spring, but you have an opportunity now to continue your playing career after college. Tell yes. us about that. That's correct. I signed a contract with the Ringwood Hawks. They play in the Big V, which is a league in Australia, the state league in Victoria. So it's about 20 minutes outside of Melbourne. Um, they usually bring in two Americans, and I'm the first one they've signed for the 2017 season. Their season's a little different because spring and, or summer and winter flip-flop with us. And so we'll, I'll head down there in January, and we'll begin play after that. So right now they're currently in their season. but. It's a good team. They've won championships in their league, and so I have a good relationship with the coach already. Talked to him 
quite a bit and looking for another guy to get. And so I really like the setup right now. So. Jacob, it's been my pleasure to watch you play and uh, what yes, a sir. tremendous career as a Bison. We wish you the best in the future and uh, we hope that you'll keep in touch with us. I appreciate it. Go Bisons. Jacob Gibson joining us here and we appreciate his time so much. I'm Billy Morgan for the Harding Sports Network.